Welcome to Born Again. Today I really want to show you four supplements that have really helped me with my Crohn's and autoimmune disease over the last decade. The first one is really a basic. I've had many tests and many blood results and many of the times I got very very low vitamin D, like really bad. But after taking this for a few months, one tablespoon a day, and I'm going to drink a little now. It tastes like oil like fish oil. My vitamin D levels went perfectly into a range and really coincided with a great moment of health for that period. And it's something I just keep on in my diet because of all the high omega-6 oils people consume through misinformation in the media. Our omega-3 to 6 ratio is completely out of whack. Omega-3 is far too low and omega-6 is too high. And this helps to regulate that because most people don't eat enough vegetables which have trace amounts of omega-3. So yeah, good stuff. The next really important supplement that I've been taking for a long period and I've just reordered a new pack is Primal Defense. They're these little capsules of probiotics, unlike most probiotics which are dairy based. For a very long periods of time it was very difficult to find a probiotic that was on a dairy free base and that actually worked. And these tablets really helped me for a long periods of time to be very consistent until I found kefir. The founder of of primal defense also had Crohn's but to a very bad very bad level very skinny he was traveling the whole world to find answers someone proposed that you use like the bacteria from like the soil the natural bacteria of the world to kind of heal your guts uh, he put down the capsule and and the guy was reborn into the full potential that he should have been if the disease didn't hit him and with Primal Defense, it suggests to take one capsule just before your food with a glass of water. It makes sense because when do you need the bacteria most when you're, when you're eating to digest the food? I don't like promoting supplements. Most supplements are complete junk, especially when they're synthetic. I'll show you a few links below. Synthetic drugs, great marketing ploy of the 20th century. There's no cofactors. There's nothing to help it get absorbed or used. Synthetic forms of drugs are just pointless. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I'm coming to B12 most forms of B12 are synthetic cyanocobalamine that's a synthetic form and people take that and they have they've reported on it's in many forums online that there's been no difference to their symptoms at all and they might increase your B12 in your blood but they won't make any difference for any of your symptoms or any body functions methylcobalamine the superior form of B12. So this is a tablet you suck, you put it on your tongue, it actually gets absorbed through your saliva, through your glands and through your mouth, into your blood. It's actually really tasty. It's got a bit of sweet in it, to be honest, and a bit of colouring. You can't always win. But for a lot of people who've had, which have digestive diseases, illnesses, IBS, IBD, older people, people who are on a vegan diet, you're born with a certain amount of stores. They tend to run out later in life. And if you're not keeping that up, you can even get nerve damage. People with low B12, after much tribulation, have found that nerve damage and almost paralysis could have been prevented and was prevented when this was put back into their diet. Because the problem with B12, it's actually absorbed in the terminal ileum. I had an operation to cut part of my terminal ileum out. So there's not as much of it as normal. And also the disease for me is in my terminal ileum. So B12 isn't absorbed as readily as, as it should be. And that's why I had really low levels. B12 isn't a marker that's really looked at in the hospital much. It's really overlooked. Hospitals want your B12 to be in the range, but this range is really on the lower side of ideal or optimal. So when I started this, my B12 was very low and the doctor wouldn't do anything. So I, when I got these, my blood test results went off the off off the scale. I mean, one pack of this will set you fine for the year easily. Especially if you've got like low red blood cells or you're anemic, iron deficient, it really helped me. This costs a little bit more, but you don't want to waste your time or play around with your health detrimentally. I got these natural iron supplements. Ideally get iron from your food, but most people don't eat enough vegetables to get the iron from the food that you acquire. And I'm not gonna eat red meat. The primary suggested option or liver because it's just a bit dirty for me and red meat is a carcinogen just like tobacco fat it's basically mineral water which is natural iron iron has naturally dissolved into the water as opposed to synthetic lab work <laughs> ah, it 
tastes like Evian, but really strong Evian. Because I used to take ferrous sulfate 200 milligram tablets. If you take iron supplements, like really sh like high doses, it will oxidize in your gut and this will attack the mucosa and the lining of the intestines and especially if you've got problems already with your guts like Crohn's, colitis, then it can actually increase the amount of bleeding so it's not actually solving any problem but one a day you can take I mean I was taking it last couple of weeks and the pain from it I'm, I've stopped now again but you always want to like keep yourself on, on top right so you do anything but I'm keeping to these unfortunately synthetic nutrients are cheaper than natural nutrients it's just a great money-making opportunity for big corporations that doesn't look out for our interest apart from our money and the fact is synthetic drugs are actually proven to do more harm than any good most supplements I wouldn't touch with a stick but there's actually a few things out there to try keeping your routine the links will all be down below yeah because I mean iron is is the primary ingredient for any light in the body. It produces hemoglobin, red blood cells that transport oxygen around the body. Without oxygen in the body, you're gonna be tired, chronic fatigue's gonna set in, malaise, depression, you're gonna feel low, you're gonna feel like a granddad, not really having energy to do anything. Iron in itself is key for the metabolism of energy in the body, so you ain't got that, not good. Everything I've talked about, I've proven on myself for years, so that goes without any doubt. And my fifth and my final supplement I'm looking into, and I think this could be very interesting, something I'm gonna keep in my diet, is no need juice. Nutrients come with a lot of other little chemicals that help it to be absorbed and used in the body. And without that, we might as well just not be taking anything. Noni juice is meant to be the miracle juice. Not really known, it comes from Tahiti. My mum has MS and she has found this and she's feeling much better on it. I've been incorporating it into my diet for the last month or so and nothing's getting any worse. It's been identified to have over 150 different types of properties, comprising of essential vitamins, minerals, alkaloids, and as a result, regulating your immune system. When you actually start taking it, you have to be careful because it's so strong that it might hit you. I have to ease into it. My body tolerates it very well. So you take a cap a day, up to two a day. Party, 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 party! It's very strong, but it's only a shot. It's not as bad as the vodka you guys drink. Thank you very much. I'm not as weepy as I used to be half a year ago. So see you next time, guys. And thanks for tuning in. When I first made my first few YouTube videos, it was very like, very anti-establishment. But so much information has come out in the last decade that there's only one direction and it's very obvious. This is the right direction. See you guys.